Today on In the Wood Yard, I got a pile of wood on the ground and I got planes flying overhead. Here comes one right now. So I got a bunch of wood on the ground that I still haven't picked up that's right here and I got some wood over there behind the camera that's wood that's been split for a while and it needs to get stacked. So all this right through here, I started on it uh, a while ago and still haven't finished it. So today, today's the day. Uh, I should have enough time to finish this pile. I don't know about the other one, but I'm going to stack over there and over here and to get this all cleaned up. Now I've been having some uh, planes fly over the last couple of days. Uh, there's a uh, two World War II planes. One's got the four engines. I think that's the B-26. And then there's a P-15 or something like that that flies over. Also, that's two engines. Um, they sound really cool and they've been flying over a lot. So uh, maybe you'll get to see them today. So we're gonna get this wood stacked right now. So I'm just gonna get going on stacking here. I'm gonna be throwing the big rounds off to the side that need resplitting. splitting Kindly go in a pile there and then the rest of it gets stacked and I'll rake this all up. Now that plane that just flew over a little while ago is coming from behind the camera. It's over that way right now. It's real low, so it's gonna fly over. This will be pretty impressive for you guys to see. Uh, it's a World War II um, transport plane. I don't know what it is. You guys didn't tell me, I'm sure. But I think it's a, a B-25 or B-26, something like that, but here she comes. flying over for the last couple days so you're gonna get to see it hopefully a couple more times they're giving rides right now um, down at uh, EAA which is going on which a lot of you're gonna say hey that was three or four weeks ago well yeah that's how far behind my videos are because I have a lot of videos so I do a video every day sometimes they do two three a day and today's the day they're flying over so you're gonna get to see that a few times because it's pretty dang cool when they fly over it's just loud you can just feel it in your chest the rumble of it I can't imagine what that was like when they flew over um, in the dozens or even hundreds when they would fly over some of the cities in Europe when they were uh, fighting the war. Um, that is the actual plane, not the actual one, but one just like it. My grandpa actually flew in World War II. Oh, here comes another one right now. Yeah, so the air show is going on. So I get planes just steady all day long, so it's pretty cool. So here comes another one. Yeah, this is the two engine one. It's a little smaller one. But it's pretty dang loud. There she goes. Okay, gotta get to work now. Peeled off and like the sun did that or what? No, it's been peeled off. Somebody peeled it off. Seen the yeah, they peeled it off. You know, they're just yellow. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the color they turn when you peel it off. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Birch is excellent. Yeah, I'll use that. Right. And ash yeah. is good. Now those ash trees that start growing uh, on the bottom like that when they get the root roots growing like that on the base, yeah. will they come back eventually? Or are they going to die anyway? Even though, because I've seen some that that people know, have left right. and they end up dying. I don't know, we'll start getting that new sucker growth. I was wondering that. If you cut it down and you got a new bush coming up, will that survive? But right. It's too early to tell. I haven't heard. Well, good 
deal. I gotta get back to work back here. Thanks, yeah. If you bring more, just put them along here, wherever, on the sides. So here's some uh, tree service where they just got dropped off. It's kind of a mix of ash and uh, some birch in here. Looks like somebody didn't like their birch trees and they peeled all the bark off. That's kind of uh, ugly, but it's still birch. It'll still burn, um, but there you go. So I got some more wood. There's some good stuff in here and some stuff that's not so good, but I think I can make firewood almost about 90% of this here, maybe 95%. There's a bunch of it. So there it is. I'm going back to stacking. I just pulled the splitter into place here. I got that in the corner so I can split these big stuff, these big rounds that I have here that need to be resplit. And I threw all the kindling in a pile over here and then I got a bunch of debris to get raked up. There's also some rounds here that I want to split. I got a bunch of it stacked and there's still a little bit over here I got to get to. And then I'm going to get this all raked up and cleaned up and then this will all be done. And then my plan is to put another full cord uh, this direction right through here because I need to be able to get through this area. I need to be able to drive around back, get back here. And uh, so then I can get that done. And then I can put one more pellet on this end here and then I'll do, and I'll do a pellet on that end and I'll square that off both of these and I'll stack that up too with another load once I get it. But that is all I have time for today. I just got a call, I got to take care of something. So that's it for me for today. You're gonna to go to my uh, other videos right now and watch them. There's 750, maybe even 800 that you should go watch. At least that's what you should do. And then tomorrow morning, 5.30 a.m., we'll be back with another video just for you. Good night, Irene. Mm -hmm.